What's up guys, my name is Dari and I hope that you are having a great day. In this video, I want to set up Laravel password for security. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and you want me to continue on creating tutorials, I have created a Patreon where you could get subscriptions and you will get benefits such as a private Discord group where we could help each other. It's pretty difficult to maintain all the questions that I'm getting through Instagram and YouTube and even though I'm trying to respond to all of you guys, the private group on Discord will be very beneficial for you since it's a community that I want to create. Now that I gave you a quick introduction to Postman, which is definitely not a lot, since Postman can get very complicated, I want to start slowly creating our own API. In order to get started, we need to create a project. So let's open our CLI. Let me make it full screen and let me zoom in. And in here, let's create a new project. What I want to do is to go to, so CD, change directories to my desktop. And on my desktop, I have a folder called Workspace where I store my projects. And in here, I want to create a new Laravel project. So let's say Laravel new with the name Bookstore. Let's hit enter. The reason why I'm choosing a Bookstore is mainly because it's very easy to create examples with it. And it's something that most people can relate to. What I want to do now is to open Visual Studio Code. So let's say VS, well, Visual Studio Code. Let's open Workspace. And let's drag Bookstore right into VS Code. All right, let me make it full screen. And let me zoom in as well. I don't need a welcome screen. What I want to do right now is to start out by setting up our database credentials since we need to interact with the database. So let's open the .env file. Let's scroll down. We have a database connection, which is MySQL. The host needs to be localhost for me. So localhost, the port is all right, the database, well, we will create it. The username is root and the password is Dari, one, two, three, four for me. Let's save the .env file and close it off. The next step is to create the actual database. So I have my MySQL set up in my CLI. So what we need to do is to go back to iTerm in here, write down MySQL and let's say create database called bookstore. Oh, I already have it, so let's say drop database bookstore. It has been deleted, and let's then say create database bookstore again. Now that we have our Laravel project and database set up, I want to install a package called Laravel Password. And for the people that have worked with OAuth, Laravel Password is built on top of OAuth 2. So it makes it possible for you to provide a standardized way of authenticating your API in Laravel. Have you ever worked with Google accounts, Spotify, or Dropbox? If you have done that before, you need to authenticate, right? Or I'll let any application access these application that I just mentioned. So once again, Laravel password is used to secure your API through different ways of authentication. What we want to do is to open a new tab. So let's say plus, let me zoom in. Let's go to CD desktop workspace bookstore. So we need to be inside our root directory. In here, we need to perform a composer command called composer require Laravel forward slash passport. Laravel password needs to interact with the database. And a pretty cool thing about it is that it will create the database tables itself. Now, if we hop to our project and open our databases folder, migrations, and the last migration is the create failed jobs. So you might be thinking, well, Dari, where are all the migrations that you're talking about, about the passport? The migrations of Laravel passport are included in the composer package that we just performed. So if we go to the CLI again, write down PHP artisan migrate. You can see that a lot of tables have been created. And to be precise, it's created five tables. What are all these tables? The clients and access tokens that we're going to create needs to be stored somewhere. And that's what we just did. Now, in order to run Laravel Passport, we need to run the PHP artisan passport colon install command. So let's do that. This would generate some pretty important client information for us. I won't focus on whatever is on the screen right now, but it will come during this course. What we want to do right now is to let our users connect with Laravel Passport so we can see which token and scope belongs to a user. And this can be done through the model. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code, open app, 
models, user.php. First, we need to tell our model that we want to pull in a new class. So let's do that at the top of the file, right below our use statement. Let's say use Laravel backslash passport backslash has API tokens. What we need to do next is to pass in the has API tokens as a trait. So right inside our class, we have a use statement. After notifiable, let's add a comma, and let's say has API tokens. The next step is to go to our auth service provider in the folder directory providers and the auth service provider.php. Let's open it. And in here, we need to be able to revoke access tokens, clients, and personal access tokens. So first, we need to use the Laravel password model that has been pulled in. So once again, let's say use Laravel backslash passport backslash passport. In order to revoke the items that we need, we need to call the passport routes inside the boot method right here. So let's get rid of the two comments and let's add a passport colon colon routes. The last thing that we need to set up for our Laravel passport is a driver for our API authentication. So let's save this file, let's close it, and we don't need a model as well. Now, what we need to do is to go to the convict folder, let's open it, and right here, we have an auth.php file. We have our defaults, we have our guards. As you can see right here, we have an API. Now the driver is not token, but it needs to be passport. All right, this was it for the setup for our API authentication. Before we do anything, we need to have a user in our database. And this can be done manually through the CLI, but I want to use Artisan Tinker a bit more in my tutorials. So let's use that. Let's go to iTerm. And in here, let's write down PHP Artisan Tinker. And Tinker is incredible if you want to fill your database with dummy data. So in here, let's say DB, colon, colon, table. Now the table is users, access operator, insert, so an insert statement. We want to pass in an array. So let's add brackets and let's go inside the brackets. Single quotes, the name is code with Dari. Comma, we want the email and the email is info at Dari Nazar.com. Comma, and the last one is the passport. So let's say password, hash, colon, colon, make. And inside the make method, let's add single quotes. One, two, Dari, one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's say four. We need to close it off with a semicolon. And what the hash make method actually does is basically hashing it in the database, but it hashes the Dari one, two, three, four password. So let's hit enter. And we made a typo right there, which is pretty easy. And I can already see what I did. I forgot a single quote after users. Hit enter. And as you could see, the return value is true. Now let's exit it. Let's open the MySQL tab. And let's say select all from users. Let's use bookstore. And let's then say select all from users. And as you can see, let me zoom out. We have a new ID with ID number one with the name code with Dari, and our password has been hashed. We have completely set up our environment and project with the Laravel passport as our API authentication. I want to go a bit deeper into APIs. Now that being said, this was it for this video. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.